Lord. Hallelujah. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. If you know you are a woman in this congregation, I want you to stand up. If you are a woman, if you are a woman, just stand up.
end of this one, my life will not remain the same. Let's turn it into prayer. Father, in the name of Jesus, King of glory, I'm able to hear your word, oh God. At the end of this word, oh Lord, my life will not remain the same. In the name of Jesus, I decree and I declare. This is your word that I'm about to hear, oh Lord. That at the end of this word, my life will not remain the same. In the name of Jesus, there will be a better life in my life in the name of Jesus. There will be a change in my life in the name of Jesus. I will continue to move forward in the name of Jesus. And your name alone be glorified. Even after this, your word, in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Amen. Let us be seated. I welcome you all in the name of Jesus to this woman Thanksgiving. It's our tradition. Every every month of October, we do our anniversary. But for the one things or the other, we are unable to do this year. But we say we can still come up with something. We have to thank God for everything He has done for us. Since the last year, up to this, to this October, the Lord has done a great thing in our lives. So we are here to say thank God. Praise the Lord. I touched my message this afternoon, Thanksgiving. And I'm going to read from the book of Psalm, Psalm 107, Psalm 107, 1 to 2. He said, Oh, give thanks to the Lord, for his good, for his mercy, and joyous forever. He said, Let the Redeemer of God say so, who has redeemed from the hand of the enemy. The Lord has been so faithful to us. All the bidders, they are just living in vain. Psalm 127, verse 1. If the God did not want the city, all the watchmen, they are just labor in vain. It is God that can do everything. God is not a magician. You can ask for the certain things, and he's not doing it for you immediately. It's not that God is not going to do it. He's still going to do it. God's timetable is different from your own timetable. You, you might need it right now. But God knows that right now that you are needed, it's not good for you. But we keep on complaining. We keep on hammering. God has not done it. You see, sister, so, 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 so. He has do this way. You have the same. God is so good to us. Let's see First Thessalonians. First Thessalonians 5, 5 verses 18. He said, in everything, give thanks. This is the will of God in Christ concerning you. He didn't say it's some certain things. The Bible didn't say that. He didn't say in some things, you can give thanks. The Bible says in everything, give thanks. Whether you have Gary to swallow, give thanks. You don't have anything, give thanks. You know when you give thanks, it motivates God to do more. When you thank him, it motivates me to do other my children. She's not ungrateful. She's very grateful to me. And God will motivate her to do. If God do small things for you, you didn't thank you. Definitely, if you have mansion, you cannot thank God. That is the truth. You cannot thank God. Let's emulate in thanking God. Even ourselves, let's talk about ourselves. Now, you do something for so-so-so person, one time, he did not greet you, he did not say thank you. Second time, he didn't say anything. I'm sure third time, you will not like to do it. Not to talk of God. God has been so faithful to us. He's the king of the king. He's the lord of lords. He's the hand that I am. He's the one yesterday, today, and forever one. Omnipotent, omnipresent. If he say yes, no one can say no. If he say no, no one can say yes. If you have the opportunity to visit dentists, you will know that Lord has been so good to us. We have 32 teeth. If your, one of your teeth has a problem, and you want to do permanent, go and ask what I'm saying. Permanent, you will spend less than 12,000 euros. And it's not going to be immediately. You will go, they will skew, they will squeeze it. They will say, okay, let it be healed before they will fix it. And after they fix, this one, will, the processing will take like eight months, thereabouts. And after that, you will now be going for checkup. And God give us for free of charge, 12,000 times 32. I'm talking about only the city. I'm not talking about the eyes that the Lord gave us. That we can see. I'm not talking about the nose. That we can use to smell. Go to the hospital. Go and ask how much is oxygen. We will not know it in the name of Jesus. Amen. God has been so good to us. Let's 
be thanking God. We know we cannot do our anniversary this year. But I say then I count my blessing that the Lord has been so faithful to good women. Since the last year up to date, a lot of good women have got their documents. A lot of good women are put to bed. A lot of good women have got in job. Why would you thank God? I must not call me. Even we don't have space to do the other and others. You can come up with the Thanksgiving. And I said, uh, this is a real We can come up with Thanksgiving. Let's begin to thank God because the Lord has been so good to us. Let's begin to appreciate God. Let's begin to thank Him for His good, for His mercy, and endurance forever. When we thank God, that God, that thing that God did for us is going to be permanent, everlasting. It's when small God do something for you, you can collect it back. You can say you are not last for so 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 years. For the King of the King, the I am that I am, the one that holds yesterday, today and forevermore, He will never change. Whatever He does for you, it is permanent. That's why I love that song. What the Lord has done for me, I cannot share it on. What the Lord has done for me, I cannot share it on. What the Lord has done for me, I cannot share it on. I can't. Because God is so good to us. But if you cannot see that and count the blessing of God, you will not understand. It's not by money, it's not by weight, it's not by practice. No. When there is life, there is hope. When you have the life, that is when you can pursue. Once the life of God, there's nothing to be done or heard again. It is when you have the life, that is when you are proposed. Okay, I want to do this. Like the beginning of this year, Pastor Shea, we should write all our goals and aspirations. We wrote a lot of us. We have been testified to the glory of the Lord. The Lord has even done almost everything that some people wrote. That is God's work. God, He can do and undo. He don't have limits. That uh, this is uh, I have to stop. I cannot go beyond this. No, that is not God. God can go. To the length. I pray the Lord will help us in the name of Jesus. Amen. Let's begin to glorify to his only name. Let's begin to thank him. At the end of this message, anywhere that you need to make amendments, go and make the amendments. And I pray, every our prayer, shall be acceptable in the name of Jesus. Amen. Just have the faith and begin to thank God. If you are tired of prayer, just begin to thank God. Lord, I just thank you. Lord, I thank you. I thank you for life. I thank you for waking me up. I know my tomorrow is good. And you see what the Lord is going to do for you. Praise the Lord. Amen. Give him thanks at all times. God is excited. You know, the angels, they are rejoicing in heaven when you are giving thanks. The angels, they are rejoicing in heaven. And you know, when the angels are rejoicing in heaven, every of your prayer request that you are asking at that moment, there shall be answer to it. That is God for you. Don't be tired. I'm tired though. Ah, go to church, go to church every time, every day. Ah, nothing, nothing. Maybe the day you sat down at home, that is the day of your miracle. Be not tired. You have to be moved. Move and move. Even in this land that we are, a lot of things you will be merited for it. They won't do it for you until you push you, until you ask and ask and ask before you get it. Automatically, they know that it's your right. You are married for it. If you sat down at home, nothing is going to show up. I'm telling you, nothing. 
Except you push and push and hurt. The same thing apply with our God. That's right. Don't need to pray. God know my prayer. God know my problem. He know my prayer problem. He know my, my prayer request. God knows. But he wanted you to ask. Ask and I shall be given unto you. He knew it. But he wanted you to ask yourself. Whether you know what you are doing. That is God for you. I pray the Lord Almighty God will give us more understanding than emotion. Amen. Let us stand up for prayer. Let us stop our time. Mighty name, we are praying. Amen. I realize you are not praying. I don't know, maybe it's only me that have before we pray. Let us pray. We are going to say, Father, thank you for making me victorious. Thank you for making me victorious. Let's begin to turn it into prayer. Father, in the name of Jesus. Father, I thank you, oh Lord, for making me a Victoria in your vineyard. Lord, I say thank you. Lord, I worship you. You say in everything we should give them. Father, I give thanks unto you. Even I know that there's something that I still need, oh Lord. I know and I believe in you that you are the whole flesh, that you are going to do it for me. That with you, all things are possible. Father, Father, I call upon you. That I thank you, oh Lord. I appreciate you. I have told you. I think your name of all every other name. There is no one like you. Lord, I praise you. I say thank you. I set our thanks in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Amen. Amen. Let's give you appreciation, Lord. Lord, I thank you for the privilege that you gave me to be in your sanctuary today. Daddy, Lord, help me of my miracle, oh Lord. Let it be permanent in the name of Jesus. I thank you for the privilege that you gave me to be in your sanctuary today. Every of my heart prayer that shall be speedy answer. Because of this is Thanksgiving today, oh Lord. Daddy, Lord, I ask upon you every of my prayer requests. Let it be acceptable in you. In the name of Jesus, every of my own prayer, they shall be speedily answered. They shall be speedily answered. In the name of Jesus, I appreciate you Lord, for the privilege that you gave unto me. That you are optimistic, that you are in our midst. And I believe, I'm struggling to believe that every of our prayer requests to their thanksgiving, that shall be answered speedily. In the name of Jesus, that shall be speedily answered. In the name of Jesus, by this time of prayer,
on Sunday, we normally have our service from uh, 1 o'clock to 3.30. But today, you know, it's a special day. That is why we are still here now. Yes. No, no, before 4 o'clock, we have to leave this place. But it's normally 1 o'clock to 3.30. On Wednesday, we normally have our meeting, actually, from 5 p.m. to 6 p.m. And on Saturday also, the, uh, the ministers, yesterday, we did not see Pastor Mike, we did not see Prophet, they did not join us. I'm very sorry, next week, you will people who will join next week. As of today, it was at work. This week, yeah. something spectacular. Just tell God that I want you to do one thing for me. When I come back next Sunday, I want to come and testify. Just tell Him within your heart that this is what I want you to do for me, God. 